got to get this cue from Lady Serena. Hey, man, I'm, something tonight is being uh, drawn from a discussion I had this week with Deep Little. Deep Little always wanted to provoke my mind. <laughs> Amen to things. And I'm glad of that. When I talked to him, you know, I, he was speaking on faith and love. And the Lord touched me and said that, Amen, we need to change our fear to faith. So tonight we're going to talk about changing your fears to faith. Because it's impossible to remain safe if you walk around grappling with fear. But mm -hmm. one thing fear does, it, it removes faith. Right. I ain't gonna say diminish it, it removes it. Totally. Because totally. fear in faith is like oil and water. One can't exist with the other. When you got fear, the Bible says, in Without faith, it's impossible, watch this, to please God. With fear, it's impossible to have faith. So if you walk around in fear, you're not pleasing God. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So tonight, our topic for you, and we hope you brought a notebook and pen and pad, because I'm going to give you some uh, steps on how to take your fear and turn it into faith. Amen. Towards the end of this class, uh, I will bring those uh, steps to you. And I want you to write them down because a lot of things uh, we do, we want, some things we want you to hold on to. Yes. Some things we want you to hear, mm -hmm. but some things we want you to take with you and re read them again, restudy them again, so that you will be able to apply them to your life. Amen? Amen. When I was driven by the Holy Ghost to look into this topic, uh, the first thing I did was do a comparison in the King James Version of the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, and I pulled up fear. Fear in the King James Bible is referenced in some type of form mm -hmm. 400 times. Wow. 400 times. So I said, well, let me uh, go over to faith and pull it up. And to my surprise, Deacon Washington, mm -hmm. fear almost double faith in the Bible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Faith, amen, is recorded in some form 247 times in Scripture. Fear, 400 times in Scripture. And I found this to be interesting, Deacon is little, because this walk that we teach or believe in, we call it a walk of faith. That's what it is. Amen. We call this a walk of faith. Amen. We ain't never seen Jesus. We ain't never sat down audibly with him. We never touched him. We believe because of the spirit of God that dwells in us. And we believe, though it has never happened uh -huh. in the history of man, that he's coming back yes. Amen. to take us home with him. This is a faith walk. And I had a me about why faith is double. I mean, fear is double fear, yes. in the Bible than faith. Yes, sir. And I wrote it here because I have to write down stuff. When you get my age, you got to write down stuff. <laughs> so that you don't forget. <laughs> before you get up and teach. Right. Amen. The question is, why is fear addressed in some form in the Bible more than faith? And the Lord brought this to me Fear is addressed more in the Bible because people have more problems with their fears than their confidence with their faith. Mm. It is easier to fear than it is to have faith. Mm -hmm. 
So the scriptures has to address fear more in order to get us to have faith. And then another thing, Brother Washington, that I thought about coming here was that if you think about faith, mm -hmm. faith wasn't really paramount in the Old Testament. Why? Because Jesus hadn't been manifested. Right. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, a lot of the faith they had was by the object of what they see or appear or miraculous things. Jesus fire, you know, uh -huh. coming down from the mountain, fire from the heavens, and, wow. yeah. you know, parting of the Red Sea, healing folks, you know, and these things. They have faith because of what they see. But it transitioned to a different type of belief or understanding in Scripture when Jesus came. He said that the just live by what? Faith. Faith. And not by what they see, right? Not by sight. So this is why I believe, amen, because a lot of them in the Old Testament had to see fire fall from heaven mm -hmm. in order to believe God he was God. Now what he what if fire fell from heaven today? <laughs> you know, fire and brimstone start falling. You know we couldn't get nobody in this church. It'd be running over. <laughs> but see, God don't want you to believe him because he rains fire. Not in this dispensation. God don't want you to believe because of what happens. He wants you to believe because of what you understand the word of God tells you. Yes, yes. Amen? Amen. And one of the, Brother David, one of the things we have to understand, and this was a point brought to me by Deacon When we learn God's love through really knowing his word, yes, yes. we will learn to conquer our fears through the power of the word. Can I say that again? Amen. You might want to write this down. When we learn God's love through really knowing his word, we will learn to conquer our fears through the power of the word of God. The reason why you walk around afraid is because you don't know what the words say. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And because you don't know what the word says, you don't really know what God, the sin of God's love. Amen. Amen. When you know God, when we get to know God like we really need to know him, it ain't just verbal love. Mm -hmm. It's secure love. Mm -hmm. It's miraculous love. It's delivering love. When I was yet in my sins, he didn't even know you. But he died for you. <laughs> we still ain't got that understanding yet, David. He died with your name in his heart. Amen. Hey man, that's powerful. Before Mike was in his mom doing this. <laughs> Christ died for us. Come on, somebody. When you really focus, thank you, Deacon. When you really focus on what God did for you, no love greater than this than a man that will lay down his life for a stranger. The Bible says friend. Yeah. He even called you friend before he brought you in. Mm -hmm. Tell me that ain't powerful. Amen. And this is why the devil tries to bring fear into our life. Because he understands the magnitude of fear on our emotions. He knows the magnitude of fear in the way we think. He knows the magnitude of fear on the physical body. Do you know most of your physical ailments come because you secretly stress it in your spirit? Yeah, that's right. Come on, somebody. That's right. well, most of your sickness is due because your complication with trying to grapple with things and trying to bring things under control when you should allow God to do those things for you. So the Bible says through my cast all, all your care. Lace around, he said, leave some of them. He said, cast all of your care. Yeah. See, if that's the beginning of losing fear. Sabrina, when you can say, you know, this problem I got, I'm going to give it to God. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, think about it. When you start doing that, Deacon, mm -hmm. 
you can leave it alone. Yes. And you won't fear, you won't stress out. Mm -hmm. Cause what? Your confidence is not in what your ability is, mm -hmm. which brings fear. Your confidence is in God. When we, darling, start learning what the love of God is, we won't know no boundaries. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody, Amen. Let's go Amen. to scripture now. Amen. First John. Oh, and we right on the deep. We right there. Mm -hmm. First John 17. Now. Amen. Let's 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 make sure everybody's got this. Because one thing you don't want to be teaching and nobody's fault. There's not a 17 in first. First John or first. John. Four. Four and 17. Four and 16. Well, four and four. I'm jumping on you. Because I'm thinking faster than I'm first John four and four? Yes. Ye are of God. Little children, uh -huh. and have overcome them, because greater is He that is in you than He that is in now, the world. Stop and focus. <laughs> stop and focus. Tell your neighbor, just bother. Me. We're a community church. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Stop and focus. Stop and focus. <laughs> stop and focus. <laughs> Look at what He said. You are Sonia. Y'all read that to yourself again. Uh -huh. Ye are God's what? Children. children. Y'all looking at the door open and somebody there. Ye yeah, are God's what? Children. Huh? Children. You, how many of y'all are God's children? Little children. Man. Little children. Put your hands up. How many of y'all God's little children? I am. I am. Matter of fact, I'm putting on two hands. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm God's little child. And what did he say about his children? <laughs> Read the saints. He said, and have overcome them. You have overcome them and because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Than he that is in this world. Yeah. Did y'all say did y'all hear that? Yeah. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. Huh? Man. Ye are God's little children. Shh. Ye are God's little children. Mm -hmm. And have overcome. So how did you overcome the world? When you got saved? Right? When you were filled with the Spirit of God. For after the, Acts 1 and 8 say, after the Holy Ghost come, you shall not have power. You shall have power. power. Shall have power. It's it. Not have power, Monty. What did it say, Monty? Shall. Not have power, right, Monty? Shall. Why are you looking it up, son? <laughs> <laughs> what did it say? Shall. He shall receive power. Well, go there since Monty got to look it up. <laughs> Acts 1 and 8. I didn't, I didn't think we had to go there, but we'll go there. After the whole, this is why you don't, Monty, I'm picking with you. You know that, right? Yeah. No. This is why we don't exercise this body, because we don't know we got the power. Right. Yeah. Uh, and this is why we wrap in fear all the time, Jeremiah. Uh -huh. I just told you, if you guys little children, You've already overcome through the power of the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. For greater, y'all missed it. Yes, huh? Come on, that means. I'm trying to show you how to get out of fear. Mm -hmm. When our minds just start focusing on the Word, That's right. what God gave us mm -hmm. through His death, burial, and resurrection, He said, I'm going to go, but I ain't going to leave you comfortless. Right. Amen. 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 That is the, that's love. Because he didn't have to do it, but I'm so glad so he did. He did. Uh -huh. huh? See, when I start recognizing that fear, go out the door. Yeah. You walk, hear how you walk around. You don't walk around as a will. You walk around, I'm God's child. <laughs> Come on, mess with me, devil. Mm -hmm. I'm already overcome you because I got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's yeah. how people of God walk around. Mm -hmm. And then you can boast because the Bible said you can say it's greater. He Look is. at the devil like this. Greater, greater is he that is in me than you in all this world. Mm -hmm. Mike, when you do that, mm -hmm. where's fear at? There's no place for fear. Right there. Am I talking right, darling? There's no place for fear when we start believing what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. He gave you the power to get rid of fear. Amen. This is why the Bible continue to try to suppress and move fear out of the people of God's mind and out of their lifestyle because fear 
is of the devil. Yes, yes. Fear, we're going to read on it. Fear is torment. Yes, it is. More people are sick because of fear. Yeah. It is not necessary. Amen. Go ahead, Deacon. Pastor, what you just said there about fear being of the devil, does that tie directly into Genesis 3, 1 through 21, but verse 10, where Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. they, well, Eve chose to eat of the fruit and yes. got her husband to do it also. And then mm -hmm. in verse 10 it says, and he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, yes. and I was afraid. That's right. Because I was naked and I hid. So, so does that fear tie to what you just said fear there? Fear started with of sin. the devil. Watch it. Fear started with sin into this. Yes. Mm -hmm. They had no fear. Up to then, yeah. All they knew was God's love. God's okay, yes, yes. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna, I'm, I'm trying to get you somewhere. All I believe in them knew before Satan caused them to fall in the garden was God love. Everything was good. Good, yes, sir, yes. Huh? Adam just took care of the animal, walked up. He didn't have to worry about the lion biting him. None of that. None of that. He didn't have to pick no weeds out of the garden because it wasn't there. He didn't toil with anything. It's perfect. He didn't have to worry about provision, food. God was there all in all. And he's trying to get us to manifest that spirit in this world. Amen. Amen. When we get to a point where greater is he mm -hmm. that is in us than he that is in us, we have to get to that belief in our mind. Because right. without a cast out all fear. When you know who you are in God. That's right. Fear comes in when you subjugate it to Satan. Right. And sin. Because like he said, he was afraid. And what did he do? Mm -hmm. He hid he himself. himself. Yeah. First thing fear does is make us not want to come to church. Amen. Say Y'all ain't helping me. Man. Come on. First thing fear do, I can't go around church. I'm hiding myself. Yes, yes. Because that's, that, that's the devil's plan. What do you want? To keep you from coming around where your strength is at. Yes, yes, say it, say it. This is why I'm teaching this night. Fear will pull you away from God. It will not draw you to God. Fear will pull you away from God. This is why the Bible has to address it so much in the scriptures, all right? Yes, yes. Now let's go 16, back to 1 John 4, 16. Start there. 4, 16 says, and... We have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love. Mm -hmm. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Now watch that. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I hope y'all, yeah. That's powerful. Y'all get this? Right That's powerful right Are y'all following this? I got it. <laughs> and if ye know and believe, uh -huh. huh? The love that God has taught. I, I'm trying to bring you somewhere. I told you, when you start knowing God's real love, not this tongue-in-cheek love, I love God. Well, here's what he said. Watch this. If you love me, uh -huh. keep my, my commandments. Mm -hmm. See, you can't say you love God being disobedient to this because mm -hmm. that distracts yeah. your love for him. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what brings in fear when you don't do what this tells you to do. Mm -hmm. See, when you know God, you do what this say. That's right. Is that right, ladies and gentlemen? That's right. When you know God, really, see, this is why people, they just, just tongue and cheek in it when they say, I love God. No, you don't, because you don't do what this tell you for Baal. Right. For Jesus said, if you love me, keep my command. And he, he, he said, they were, he said, why call me Lord and not do the thing I tell you to do? Yeah. See, that's the first thing the Satan try to do, make you start doubting this through fear. That's how he gets you. He makes you stop believing what God left for you in love. That's right. In love. That's right. My God. These are letters that God gave us just the inkling of who he is. <laughs> and he allowed it to be written and recorded by 40 holy men mm -hmm. under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. So you can learn his love, so you would walk, walk you would walk around without any fear. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. When you not go ahead, Dicky. In this verse, it says, "God is love." Yes. He that dwelleth mm -hmm. in love dwelleth in God. Yes. 
God is love, and what he's trying to do is get us in position to live in his love. That's right. Mm -hmm. If we get in that position to understand that he is, He loves us, mm -hmm. we in that position to know that we are basking in his love. He does everything for us. That's right. We just got to recognize what he does for mm -hmm. us. He pulls us out of darkness. Mm -hmm. He brushes us off. He mm -hmm. forgives us. He blesses us. He do a whole lot for us, yes, he but he because he loves us, right. and he wants us to live in his love. Mm -hmm. I, I love that verse right there. That verse That's is very a powerful, powerful verse. It's a powerful How verse. do I dwell in <laughs> thy word, O oh Lord, have I in my heart? That I want what? Sin and I told you, sin brings fear. Y'all missed it? Sin brings fear. When you do this, you're confident. I'm all right. You dwelling in God then. Yeah, yeah, when you do it this way, you dwelling in God. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. When you following this to the letter, you dwelling in God. You're in there. Then you recognize his love. Yeah. The compass of it. Yeah. The fullness of it. God ain't just the God that wake you up in the morning. God ain't just the God that <laughs> touch your body every once in a while, hear you. God ain't the God that Every once in a while, I give you a new job. God ain't just a God that gives you uh, a favor. Yeah. But God is all in all. That's He's right. all in company. company. He, he, he fills all spaces. Yes. What did Moses say? He told Moses, tell him. When Moses said, Lord, <laughs> who should I tell who sent me? Y'all missing that? that? Is that right? <laughs> I am that, that I, am. I am. Meaning, Whatever you want me to be, my love don't come. I am. Oh, Amen. Oh, y'all missed it. I am, yes. Y'all yes. missed it. Whatever you want me to be, my love don't cover it. All I need you to do is believe it. Amen. Amen. And if you believe it, one first thing, you ain't going to sin. Mm -mm. If you believe it, first thing you're going to do is obey his word. Mm -hmm. Obey. If you believe it, the first thing you're going to do is not be afraid. Or the next thing you're going to do is not be afraid. You sit and talk to people. Most of their anguish and anxiety come from fear. Mm -hmm. Being afraid. Why? Because they can't control something. Well, God don't want you to control something. Amen. <laughs> His love already took care. That's why you don't worry about the future. Because right. who's already there? God. That's why you don't worry about the past. Because who's already forgiven you for it? God. Y'all ain't helping me. Yeah. If we could just get that in our mind, yeah. huh? If we could just get that in our mind, we won't be stressing over what we didn't do mm -hmm. or what we did do. Right. If we could just get that in our mind, we won't be working ourselves to death trying to get the next big house on the heater. Ooh, wrong focus. Y'all ain't helping focus. Because right, right, right. he said, I'll provide all your needs. Mm -hmm. According to my riches in glory. Is that in the word? Is that in the word? See, these are the things that will keep you from stressing. Read on, please. Verse 17 says, Herein is our love made perfect. Come on. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Well. Because as he is, so are we in, the, in this world. Mm -hmm. Watch that. I'm not, let me say this. And none of y'all are hopeful this way. I'm not worried about the rapture. I'm not worried about judgment. I'm not worried about I'm not Jesus. Because I'm getting out of here before true judgment hit the earth. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me break that down for y'all. We talked about it. I think we preached on it. Happy time. Mm -hmm. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. So we asked the congregation, we asked the congregation to simulate what that is. And Deacon gave us a, 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 a description. Mm -hmm. He said that's half of an eye blink. Eye uh, uh, back. Yes. Twinkle. Twinkle. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, how many of y'all bring your lid down half? Bring your... <laughs> Stop. That's how fast the rapture is going to take place. Right. Come on. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me. Do some eschatology for you. Watch this. There is no left behind and no coming again for those that get left. As Gentile ladies and gentlemen, that's us. Yeah. Anybody that's not in the 144,000, 
in the book of Revelation, yeah. amen, chapter 6 or 7. If you ain't in that number, anybody that missed the rapture got to come before the white throne judgment. And if you have to come before the white throne judgment, it tells us in 19 that blessed are they that get caught up in the first resurrection. Amen. The rapture for the second has no power. You know why? Because everybody that will come up in the second one, they're going to probably hear these words. Depart from me, right. you worker of your iniquity. I never knew you. Now, what am I saying? Somebody said, wait a minute, Pastor, wait a minute. You mean I don't have a second chance if I make a mistake? Wait a minute now. Jesus died over 2,000 years ago. He gave you enough time to clean up your mistakes when he comes. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen. He left you his love. I'm digressing because I got to get this. People got this wrong. He's left his love for you to obey and prepare. If the rapture was not an important event for us to do, the apostle to the Gentiles would have reiterated two times in his writing. Am I talking right, David? Yes, sir. So for us, we must leave in the rapture if we're going to be with Jesus forevermore. The millennium is not for y'all. That's right. That's for Judah, yes. Israel. Yes. That's not for us. That's right. They will prosper in there, but everybody that's under them, that is Gentiles, will go before the white throne judgment. This is why the Bible says you got to make your calling yes. and election sure. Well, you're saved. Hey Amen. Don't be dibbling and dabbling on this side of grace. That's what grace is for. It's for us. He adopted and brought us in That's right. with his love. Because initially, this was not for us. That's right. In Old Testament, they called anybody that wasn't chosen in that ethnic, ethnicity, ethnicity group, uh -huh. you was outside of God. Am I talking right? Mm -hmm. We were heathen. That's the word he called us. Then he adopted us and brought us in through the blood Death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Right. He gave us an opportunity. Wild olive branch. Now to be a part of Abraham's heir, y'all. I'm, 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 just, I'm just doing this so I can help somebody. Yeah. If you miss the rapture, you die. You die. Period. And I don't think, Brother David, people understand the magnitude of missing the rapture. Over. This is why God is trying to press upon the people in this church preparation for the mm -hmm. coming of the Lord. That's the whole, that's the most significant thing you should be focused on right now. Mm -hmm. Is making sure that you are going to get out of here when Jesus comes. When, now he ain't going to come as people mistake call it the second coming. The second coming is after the rapture. Mm -hmm. The rapture is an event. Yes. It's not a coming. He will not ascend to the earth no. talking during the rapture. Y'all are missing it. I'm, I'm trying to That's do right. some eschatology. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Right. He will not. It's not a second coming. It's an event. Mm -hmm. And it's a seamless event. You won't even know it happened. It's going to happen so fast. But the magnitude of it, amen, it's going to be devastating for them to miss it. Very significant. Because after that, it starts the tribulation. Mm -hmm. And then the son of perdition, the Antichrist, becomes full power. God shuts up the heaven like he did between the Old Testament and the New Testament. He shut it up for 400 years. I'm, I'm, I'm going another way, but I have to get it out. He shut it up for 400 years. This time he's going to shut it up for seven. Until he get his work done on the earth. He's not going to hear no more prayers. That's it. No more crying, no more tears till his work here is finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Must be done. So it behooves us to know God now. Mm -hmm. Know his love now. Because I'm telling you, you don't want to be here during the tribulation. The Bible says that at that time, there will be such a great, horrific trouble in the world that is never, ever seen in the history of man. Because look what God's going to do. 
The Bible says he's going to give Satan full control. There won't be no angels to stop him. God won't even fulfill Satan and his false prophets and the Antichrist himself, that individual, going to run the earth. They're going to run rough shot over everybody that's left here. You think it's crazy now. You think it's lawless now. You'll be playing just to get up and get out your house without somebody getting in there and killing you. All right, I digress. I just wanted to hit that. Because people need to understand, we need to be ready yes, for the coming of the Lord. Amen? Amen. All right. 618. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. The perfect love casts out fear. Thank you, Jesus. Because fear has torment. Come on. He that fears is not made perfect in love. See, I just did something for you. Now, if anybody was hearing them words, and they was becoming perplexed in the spirit, there's two things going on. You don't know God, or you have not been redeemed through the baptism. You haven't repented and have been filled with his spirit. But those of us that have his spirit, we ain't worried about the rapture. I ain't sitting around twiddling my thumb wondering if I'm going to make it. Because I understand the perfect love of God. Because I apply my life to this word. And this word keeps me from fearing. Because I know what God requires. And I apply that to my life. So what does that mean? I recognize his love. So I'm not walking around with trembling knees. I'm not walking around worrying about if they're going to uh, send an atomic bomb over there in Ukraine and Russia start losing the war. I'm not worried about that. Let it go out. It's going to be a tragedy for those people and probably us. With radiation shower, but you know what? The Bible said when you see these signs, don't become perplexed. Don't become fearful. He said for us that know God's love, he said look up. For your redemption, draw them down. I'm trying to help somebody tonight. I'm looking up. Anybody looking up tonight? Amen. Amen. Somebody say, I'm so glad God loved me. And I'm so glad I love him. How many of y'all love him tonight? Amen. Just give him a hand clap if you exactly. There's no fear in love. See, when you know God, you don't you don't worry about people either. We coming down that street. Because they can't do nothing to you. Mm -hmm. Not even Satan. Do you know Satan can't even mess with you without asking God's permission? Right. Right. Now, how many of y'all knew that? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yes. How many of y'all knew that? Mm -hmm. Satan got to get God's permission to mess with one of his. Mm -hmm. So if you got that kind of power, why are you walking around in fear? Uh -oh. And if he allows Satan to test you, there's no reason to fear. Because he's going to bring you out of it. He's going to take care of you. Just like he did with Job, right? Now, this got devastating in Job's life. Job lost all his children. He lost all of his wealth. His body was afflicted. But you know what Job understood, Deacon? He said, the love of God that gave me that, and the same love of God that's going to give me it back. Huh? He said, shall a man, wait a minute, let me get it right. What did y'all say? He said, good. I'm going to wait to my change. To my change. Amen. We, no, we ain't got that right. He's talking about the good versus the bad, versus evil. evil. Huh? Shall God, shall God, God bless you with bless good. good versus evil. Well, he told his wife that. But what are you that, saying? That's all right. That's all right. We, we will get it. We get it. Make it a name out of my mother's womb. Huh? Mm -mm. You ain't talking about that one right here. He says that shall a man die? If a man die, shall that's what I'm telling you. Shall, 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 shall he live again? Shall he live again? He yeah. said, I'm going to wait on my point of time. Point of time. time. Okay. Huh? I'm wait till my challenge oh. comes. Though he slay me, that's what I'm going to say. Yet will I trust him. Yet will I what? Trust him. Why am I going to trust him? Because I believe in me. Man. Monty, you getting this? Yes, Why am I going to trust him and he didn't kill all my children? My God. Mm. Why am I going to trust him? He didn't took all my wealth. My Lord. Why am I going to trust him? He didn't afflict my body. Mm -hmm. Say it, Elder. Say it, Elder. Come on, 
on y'all. Mm. Say it, Elder. Mm. Boucher. <laughs> Both of us were folded. <laughs> huh? Some of y'all would have said, like his wife, why don't you curse God? And die. die. Somebody would have been in your ear. Say, curse God. Because mm -hmm. see, Ain't that what he's telling us to with? Yeah. He says the only reason Job loves you because he got things. Yeah. yeah. Bless him. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Y'all yeah. following that? Yes, sir. The only reason he's loving you because he got things. Now watch this. Watch this. He said if you remove the hedge from him, digging this little, what did he tell God? He going to curse you to your, face. to your face. Now watch this. Did he use his wife? Yep. yep. Yeah. He sure did. What does wife say? <laughs> Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. What does wife say? Curse him and die. Joe got it. Uh, say he got his wife. You know. That's how he get a scared. He get in the person closest yeah. to his children. Yeah, yeah. that's right. He know that to get us a friend. Oh, my baby. He touched my baby. That's oh, he got my wife shit. Oh. That's it. Yeah. That's it. You're talking good. Then you start slipping back. Oh, God ain't going to do it. Not Joe. Not Joe. Not Joe. Joe said, No, he slayed me. Yeah. Death will I trust him. That's what we need to get to tonight. Joe didn't have no fear. I mean, he, 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 even his friends came around. Mm -hmm. See, your friends will make you afraid too. This is why you should listen to folks. Mm -hmm. We here to encourage you. <laughs> If that's encouragement, my God, I feel worse. Right. <laughs> that's what Job said. Y'all come to encourage me. I feel worse since y'all been here. <laughs> that ain't love. Right. Love is this. You gonna make it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Love is this. God got you. Got you I don't care what you're experiencing. God gonna take care of that. Amen. That's love. Amen. That's what love is. Amen. Build your confidence Amen. up through the power of God. Amen. Don't come giving me, you know, Mike. I don't know. Did you see him, Mike? I don't be doing that. Did you see him? God, 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 God giving you, Mike. That ain't helping, Mike. Give uh -uh. Mike some love. Hallelujah. Tell him, Mike. God love you. God love you. And watch what he do for you, Mike. I don't care what you did. Right. Don't you worry. God gonna pull you out of it. I hope I hope, hope y'all getting this. Some of y'all, uh, y'all don't help your brothers and sisters. They call you for a company word. What did you do? You sin? Uh-oh. I told you. I we only got an I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, somebody. Right. Don't tell me. Pray for me. Right. That'll help me. Love. There's no fear in real love. You, you can help somebody over hump if yeah. you just speak Jesus to them. Yes, Lord. Come on, somebody. Huh? We're going to get there. I hope we get there. Because there's so much to this thing. Dick, you disturbed me up. As soon as I got off the phone, I went straight to study. He sure did. Amen. Um, <laughs> 21. Uh, 1 John 4 and 21. And this commandment have we from him. Come on. That he who loveth God love his brother also. Now watch this. When we learn to love God and love our neighbor, we we'll start alleviating fear. Watch that. God gave two commandments that trump every commandment. Yes. Come on, somebody. Right. The first one was to love the Lord thy God with all, all thy heart, heart, with all thy soul, and all thy mind. Mm -hmm. The second is no less than the other. Mm -hmm. Love thy neighbor. Yes, yes, yes. If we could learn to love each other the right way, we wouldn't have jealousy. Mm. If we could learn to love each other like the Bible tells us to love, we wouldn't have no hatred. If we could learn to love each other like the Bible tells us to love, there wouldn't be no wars, no rumors of wars. If we could learn to love each other like that, there wouldn't be no hunger. And nobody helping me. We would eliminate the things that cause anxiety if we would love like God loves. Amen. 
Somebody call it agape love. Yeah. Yeah. Agape love moves out all fear because that's a love that's unconditional. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people love God the wrong way. Wrong way. And somebody say, think he a drugstore <laughs> or a, 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 a Santa Claus. Oh, God, I love you because you gave me a new house. Oh, God, I love you because I got a good family. We live in good. We go to the beach every other year. We drive the fine cars. Oh, how I love Jesus. I love you. Yes. You can love him when you got everything good. That's a conditional love. Yes, yes. Because you know what's going to happen to that type of love? Wait till God start taking stuff away. Yeah. When you, will you be able to be like Job and say, don't be slain? Right. Yeah, will I trust him. Yeah, will I trust him. Mm -hmm. That's real love. That's real love. You got a lot of people that have superficial love when they say, I love God. They don't love it because if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. We got to move on because uh, I'll get long up here. We already at 49. We got to leave at 830. Uh, Isaiah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 12 and 2. Let me explain a little bit of this. Our faith in God will be suppressed through fear. How many know that? Amen. Our faith in God will be diminished or taken away when we fear. Say it that way. Here Isaiah is talking about surely God is my salvation. It is written in Isaiah 12 and 2. Mm -hmm. The words he used there is very paramount to your understanding. Please gravitate to it. I will trust and not be afraid. Can y'all say that with me? I will trust and not be afraid. Why? For the Lord, the Lord Jehovah is my, is my strength. The Lord who? Jehovah. Jehovah is my strength. Now watch this. Watch this. This is why we emphasize it here. Smile. Get a happy disposition. Yeah. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. You get, when you're happy, it can translate into love. Yeah. You know, it's best to ask people when they're happy for money. <laughs> Ain't nobody talking to me. <laughs> you don't want to ask people when they grumpy. Uh -uh. You probably don't get it. <laughs> but Lord have mercy. Like these kids do me in this church. <laughs> when they see pastor smiling, they come. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, if you're in this woman, why? Because I feel good here. Everybody gets something. <laughs> and that's how God is. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying you can play God like that. Like the kids be, you know, they come up, Pastor, we love you. <laughs> oh, Pastor, oh, here, take this, baby. I'm just using that as a metaphor. When you got a happy disposition, yep. God can work with that. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. You even feel better when you're happy. Mm -hmm. Even if you ain't saved. You know, that brother, brother Reed said, I just looked at him, he always smiling. You know, people intrigue yeah, they do. when people are smiling yeah, all the time. Especially in this crazy world. Yeah. There's so much bad news, everybody mad. <laughs> <laughs> you go in the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> The prices. <laughs> Can I get to the sugar? What are you, what are you talking about? I <laughs> <laughs> you see me here. He <laughs> says, excuse me. Yes. Oh, Lord Jesus. I remember the day when people were more happier because yeah. they knew God's love. Oh, excuse me. Let me know what you're doing here. You got money to pay for, baby? Right, I can help right, you. Right, right. That's how it used to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everybody angry today. Everybody. Everybody. Why are people so angry? Mm -hmm. Y'all know why? Because they don't know God's love. No That's the simple, quick answer. answer to that. See, you took away the love when you took away 
the manifestation of the world. When you made the world less of fact, you took away the understanding of love. They don't know how to love their brother like they love unto themselves. Because you took away the guiding. The compass for them. So now everybody loving the way they want to love. Just like they think they're going to heaven. You ain't going to heaven the way you want to go. You can only go the way he said you have to go. And that's through understanding what this tells you to do. Amen. This is the real love. Love is the key. Amen. Amen. They were right when they wrote the song. What the world needs now is love, sweet love, more love, love of God be love. Amen. Is that right? We need a little more understanding of who God is or Christ is in our lives. I will trust who? Back in Isaiah 12 and 2. Behold, God, Be God is my salvation. Yes. And I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and, and my, my song. Amen. He's also what? My song. And he's also become my what? Salvation. 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 Yes. The only way you can be saved salvation. is to love God. Huh? Because yeah. being saved with the power of God, it removes fear. You know who's afraid? Them that is not ready mm -hmm. for the rapture. Yes, yes. Even church folks, some of them. You know why? Because they didn't fall back on God. They ain't living right no more. So they now have become afraid of the coming of the Lord. But when they start aligning themselves back to Jehovah, their salvation will come. Mm -hmm, yeah. When they start loving God by obeying his word, salvation will come. But you walk away from this, you walk away from love. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. 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 Don't walk away from this. Don't walk, walk away from, from this. Because this. this is going to take you away from God. It's going to take you away from God. It's take you away from God. Here's another thing, yeah. saints. I need y'all to have a proclamation for me. I want everybody to say this and try to believe it. Matter of fact, you know how in school, Brother Graham, when you needed to remember something, you took a pen and you wrote it on your hand? <laughs> huh? Maybe y'all should do that tonight. Get the proclamation. I will, I will, I will trust, trust and not be afraid. Not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah, this is a lot to write on your hand, Mark. Come on, right, right. <laughs> in my work. Strength. Huh? And my well, I say, well, don't write the whole thing. Here's what you do. <laughs> write Isaiah 12 and 2 on your hand. That's a good one. <laughs> I, can't, I don't do this all the time, but I'm trying to get them to understand. <laughs> write it on your hand. Or put, oh, yeah, there you go. Put it in your phone. <laughs> <laughs> now, tonight I want y'all to go home and read that. A few times. Mm -hmm. I'm yes. like, okay. Yes. I just want you to read it. Yes, and yes, keep reading it to yourself. Yeah. So when the devil comes in the middle of the night telling you you ain't nobody, the, the sky's falling, you're going to die cancer, you're going to get tuberculosis and all this crazy stuff, you sit back and tell him, no, I ain't. We're going to go back to the scripture and say, I'm going to come to you. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God. Yes. For greater is he that is in me. Put them together. Come on, saint. Yeah. Then go to this. I will trust and not be afraid. Why? For the Lord Jehovah, my salvation, in my work, and my, my song. Now, please, Jeremiah. Oh, he, are you here? You left. I was looking for you right there. My eye was looking, but I'm all right. I want y'all to concentrate on those verses of scripture. Sonia, you got them. Huh? Talk to me. <laughs> what is this first description? I'm going to give them to you. I didn't tell you the first. Go back to John. I didn't leave John. First John. I want y'all to get these scriptures. I want you. John, first John, four and four. Y'all got that? Yep. Now, take that and tie it to Isaiah 12 and 2. You got it, Lacey? Got it. I know you got it. You be sitting there studying with me. Yes. Amen. <laughs> We're studying, come. I don't have a choice. We're <laughs> studying, come. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's yeah. trying to get to heaven like I am. Amen. Amen. You better Amen. believe that one. Yes, Lord. I ain't leaving 
My wife, even though we won't know each other like husband and wife when we get there, but I sure like to look over and say, that don't cheat them. <laughs> right. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. And she's going to say, Oh, no, I ain't. <laughs> I'm going to say, you made it too. You made it too. But anyway, hallelujah. Somebody say glory. glory. Let's move on. I got to get out of here. This is getting good to me. I, I, I feel like running. Anybody feel like running? All right. When I know God is on my side, oh my, I feel like running. Hallelujah. I wish somebody that's bold enough to tell the devil, devil, devil. devil. you ain't scaring me. You ain't, you ain't scaring, scaring me. me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hallelujah! <laughs> I feel something. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Everybody about to get on that argument, man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel something tonight. That's, oh, that's all right, Pastor. I'm out here. Praise him. When I start reading this word, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I start feeling that yeah. pinch. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> the world, they used to sing an old song. And the world can't do me no harm. No. Why? Because I got a head. Amen. That word is my head. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what the word says. Uh -huh. Let's read it. Go ahead, uh, yeah. Of his pavilion. Right, huh? right. In the holy places. Hallelujah. I'm a child of God. Yes. I'm trying to encourage somebody. Yes, sir. yes. I'm trying to tell you, you don't have to be with your knees like this dealing with Satan. You know what I mean? No, not at all. God says, straighten up. Straighten up. You're a child of God. Amen. Right. Straight up your own. You have no fear. None. Not of what Satan can do. Not at all. Come on, somebody. Amen. Well, I'm, I'm, I'll reiterate, since y'all missed Isaiah, let's go to Psalm 18 and 2. Yes. Psalm 18 and 2. I feel a preaching coming on, Mark. Mm -hmm. I feel all right now. Mike even holding his ear. Oh, <laughs> Y'all liking this tonight? I'm feeling all right. Psalm 18 and 2. The Lord is my rock. Uh oh. Come on, with my it. fortress. Yes. And my deliverer. Mm -hmm. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. Let's just let's just let's meditate. Let's just let that marinate in our spirit. See when the devil come at you, y'all read these scriptures. Psalm 18 and 2. Who is the Lord to you? My God. Brother Brown, who is the Lord to you? My what else is it? My strength. What else is it? My fortress. My fortress. My fortress. What else is it? My deliverance. My deliverance. Come on, somebody. Why are you scared? <laughs> Talk, Pastor. What you afraid of? Uh -huh. hey, no. You get loud. My voice said, don't do that. <laughs> your voice carries. He got a so preaching got a voice. voice. <laughs> when I get excited, I just, I don't know. This word, man, it's woo woo woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Who is it to you, Sonia? My rock. <laughs> You just heed my rock. That could be rock of ages. <laughs> yeah, put the name on it. The Lord. Come on. Lord. The Lord is my rock. And what else, Sonia? My strength. Oh, wait. Your fortress? My fortress. What else? My deliverer. What else? My God. And what you going to do? I will trust him. And to whom I will trust. trust. How are we going to trust him now? Amen. 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 So now I should get minimum phone calls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the oh, setup. Oh, oh, the setup. Oh, just saying. Somebody go grab these scriptures. Yes, I don't need to call the pastor. Nah, I got it. Nah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> I give you pastors. You need a pastor. Because you, you can do it by yourself, you will do it by yourself. That's true. You need somebody else. But I'm telling you, you can call up these scriptures That's just right. to fortify you until you do get some help. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Amen. 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 My buckler, that means he fights for you. Yep. Amen. Amen. And the horn of my salvation, mm. he is that which will defend you because. He loves you. Yes. And he wants to say, this is what a lot of people miss. miss. God loves you so much, he won't let, allow you to mess up. Before he'll try to put something up under you to make you understand, don't go there. Yes, Amen. See, when God brings affliction on you sometimes, it ain't because he hates you, it's because he loves you. Mm -hmm. 
Right. He loves you so much, he don't want you to mess up. Right. Right. So he brings affliction on you. He makes you go through things. This is love. Right. We call it tough, tough love. love. Mm -hmm. That's right. And until you stop doing and being hard-headed, he gonna keep squeezing you. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Because he wants you to learn his love. Amen. He wants you to learn that, hey, this is gonna make you go away from me. I'm trying to pull you to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's love. Amen. Amen. Because people that don't love you, they'll just tell you anything to your demise. Mm -hmm. But a person that loves you will tell you the truth to your face. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. A real person that loves you will say, you know you ain't been doing right. You know you need to stop that mess. Mm -hmm. Amen. A person that loves you, but a person that don't love you will want to see you lay down the street. Mm. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, anyhow. Since y'all didn't get it there, well, I'm, 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 I'm going to slow down because I'm, I'm getting excited. I, I, let's go to Habakkuk. Y'all know what that's a, that's a minor prophet yes, in the middle of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Habakkuk. Uh -huh. 3, 19. This is where I'm at tonight, baby. When I think of the Lord's uh -huh. love and his strength yeah, that he applies to me through the Holy Ghost, yeah, right. this is what this is where I'm getting elevated tonight. Yeah, get I, I might, I, you know, I might need to get there myself. Yeah, get praise. I need to get there. Yeah, 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 because I got to read more here. Now, let me show you something. When you know God is your buckler, your fortress, your deliverer, and your rock, let's look at this chapter 3. Of Habakkuk. Are y'all there yet? Yes, sir. Starting, we're going to jump here because I'm running out of time. Starting at verse 13, 313. Habakkuk 3.13. Read that, please. Thou winnest forth for the salvation of thy people. Mm -hmm. God. Even for salvation within what thine anointed. Mm -hmm. Thou woundest the head of the house of the wicked mm -hmm. by discovering the foundation unto the neck. See not. God will be in defense of his people. He will fight for his people. I don't know how else to tell you. God will fight for his people. Now watch this. Knowing that, watch what happens. Go to 16. When I heard my belly tremble. And this my, is what happened to y'all. My lips quivered at the voice. Come on. Rottenness entered into my bones. Mm -hmm. And I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. Mm -hmm. When he cometh upon unto up when he cometh up, up to the people, mm -hmm. he will invade them with his troops. This is us looking at what's going on. Mm -hmm. God will fight for us, it's been said in 13. But fear start making you believe that you will not be protected or God won't rescue you. Mm -hmm. But God, in his word, gave us an assurance of him being our rock, yes. being our deliverer, yes. and being our fortress, and being our salvation. He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. For Matter of fact, he assured us, he said, even until the end of the world, I'll be there. Yes. These are the type of confidence mm -hmm. That the people of God have, should have when fear comes. Now we're gonna jump. Look what happens when you have confidence. 18. Mm -hmm. Rebecca, 318. Yeah. This is where I'm at tonight. Come on here. Yes. yes, will I rejoice in the Lord? Say it. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Look at here. This is why our woman conference is gonna start Friday night at 7. And go start on, go all day Sunday, two days. Lay Sorrells was inspired by the Holy Ghost to pick rejoice. Yes. Again, I say rejoice. Because she said she got, I don't think she said tired, but she was just looking at the dispos, disposition of people's faces. Yeah. Like I said, everybody walking around. Yeah. Uh -uh. What's wrong? Yeah, be You're a child of God. Yeah. Ain't no joy there. My, when I was studying, this song came to my heart. Got those joy bells ringing in my soul. Y'all know that old song? Mm -hmm. Joy bells ringing in my soul. Yeah. Joy bells, joy bells, joy bells ringing in my soul. I kept singing that song. 
Because I thought about what Lady Sherelle said. Mm -hmm. That's time for us to rejoice. Yes. Even in the midst of all this craziness, yep. we should be rejoicing. Amen. Stop allowing the devil to make you angry because right. of what you see. Mm -hmm. Stop allowing the devil to take your joy away. Yes. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's right. Amen. Defeat the devil with the word. Yes. Bring up these scriptures we're giving you tonight. Battle and push that back. That's right. You don't have to accept this junk. Tell him, I ain't accepting your junk. I ain't accepting your junk. You done had me afraid too long. And I'm going to show you something. Being afraid cuts off your blessing. Right. Mm. Shut it off. Read why some of y'all struggling. You're too scary. It's like in a haunted house. And you got to stop being afraid of <laughs> Well, I would, you know. I would, but God said... Don't possess it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I missed it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Go get it. Well, it's yours. Mm. Don't worry about what he going to say. You trying to get a house? Y'all stop. Who? Jesus, you going to give me the house. No. That's mine. Yeah. As a matter of fact, hear what you do. You go right out there. You get you some oil. Yep. Right that'll here. work. Right See, when, I, when, you, when, you, yep. when you got love the confidence, you say, look. You see, that's my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my house. We do. Amen. That's what we did, Lady Sherelle. That's what we did. That's my house. Show sure enough. You go right out there, you drop three or four drops of oil, yep. and then start shouting right there. All right. But the Bible said, wherever your foot is, yep. amen, I'm going to bless you. Amen. Amen. You start walking over where you want to right. be. Y'all right. ain't helping that's right. me. That's right. When you got God's love, you can walk over. Oh, he said, wherever you walk, you're going to possess it. Amen. Yeah. See, that's confidence there. Y'all, hear what y'all do. Well, I got to wait on Susie. Call me and give me the uh, uh, this and that. Oh. I keep telling y'all, when y'all start believing this, miraculous things will start happening. When you start believing what God's love is for you, you're going to have power over the adversary. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to sit around angry all the time because you don't have what you desire. Because mm -hmm. see, when you love God, he can't go against his word. He said, I'll give you. Y'all missing it. Y'all missing it. Yes. Why is he going to give me the desire? Because I love him. How did he know I love him? Because I'm keeping his commandment. People struggle because they're not keeping his commandment. That's, That's it. why you broke all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm coming down your street. Yes, sir. This is why you don't have nothing. Because you're not keeping his commandments. That's the real truth. Mm -hmm. Looking at some folk prospering, doing, check their life. Now, I'm telling you, God, he's going to bless his people, too. But I'm not talking about cooking folks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about people that's living saved. Mm -hmm. God's going to bless you. Look at it, look at he it. He said, the earth is the Lord's. Oh, the food is there. And all that is in it belongs to me. Yeah. And because you're my child, you can have some of it, too. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ain't nobody talking to me. Amen. 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 That's the I'm word. trying to help elevate your mind. Y'all... Yeah. Are trapped in yourself. You're trapped in yourself. That's why you're angry all the time. Because you're looking at your circumstances and not looking at what God promised. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen, somebody. That's right. Mm -hmm. Somebody said this. When you know God, you can say these words with confidence. I can do all, all things through Christ. Christ. Then what? Trips Trips me. Y'all missed it again. <laughs> y'all missed it again. He said, if those that love me, I will dwell in them if they dwell in me. me. You don't wake up tomorrow wondering about how you're going to get a morsel of meat. Because God is going to provide all the things you need. Is that in the Bible? That's it. Is that in the Bible? Yes, it Matthew is. Is that in the Bible? Yes. See, yes. when you know him, you can say these words. Now, yes. look, God, uh, Six and you know, today I, I'm a little short, Jesus. You can go down like this. Uh, I'm waiting on you, God. I know you're going to deliver. Don't say he ain't going to just say, God, I know you're going to do this for me. And walk in your authority. Because you know him. All right, all right. Jesus. Uh, oh, well, uh, I can't get to it. So when you know him, you rejoice. Look what happened to you, Stuart Mike, 19. Oh, this is what we got to get to. Mm -hmm. The Lord God is my strength. He's your strength. And he will make my feet like hind's feet. Hind's feet. And he will make me walk to upon 
Low places. High places. High places. Monty, low places. High places. Mark, low places. High places. High places. How many of y'all will walk on high places? Amen. Amen. You can walk on high places when you know what the love of God is. You don't have to be a beggar for the, uh, the bar is subject to the lender. Mm -hmm. And he says, you ain't in that position when you mind. He said, when you love me and keep my commandment, you will be the lender and, and not, not the bar. Is, yep, is that in the Bible? Is that in the Bible? Yep. Is that in the Bible? It's in the Is that? You will be the lender and not the boss. When you start doing what God tells you to do. When you start doing what the word of God says. When you keep my commandments. He said, I'll open the windows of heaven and what? Pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to get this word now. These are the things you need to say when you're being challenged by your spirit of fear. Right. Yeah, I know, the, you know, we got foolish and we ran the gas electric up a little high. But I was playing church music. God, I need to bring that bill down. Amen. Go over there. Amen. You're like, I used to see my mom and I don't do that. I don't do this anymore. Bring them bills to that kitchen table. Yep. Anoint them. Get you some anointing on it. Yep. We don't do that no more. We got, yeah. we got too, 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 too bougie. <laughs> we don't do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brothers and sisters, I didn't see my mom. She bring that stack sure of bills. Will. That works. With six, six, seven mm -hmm. keys. It works. Lay that the bills on that table, and I be hearing, "Oh Jesus, you gonna make a way out of no way." Praying with that all our bills full with oil. Never back to the What is this? What's <laughs> 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 Jesus? Y'all gotcha, gotcha. ain't helping me. Gotcha. That's what they used to do. Y'all. Now, don't, don't, don't put your hand up. Y'all don't do that no more. Here's what y'all do. Y'all go to the mailbox shake. Now, shout them out. Because you just stepped away from what God told you. Trust me. Believe in me. You got a problem? Pray over it. Pray over it. I will deliver you. You my child. Lord, help us in here tonight. Lord, I feel a heaviness. I don't know if y'all get this, but this yes. is going to help somebody if they believe yeah. what they hear. Amen. Amen. If they believe what they hear and apply it, this mm -hmm. is going to help y'all. Amen. You got to do what this say. You have to do what this say. This is how you love God. Keep my commandments. And when you keep his commandment, fear go out the door because your faith will increase. Because the Bible says you can ask mm -hmm. what you will. Is that in there? That's thing? it. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Is that in there? That's in there. You don't worry when you can ask what you will, and God, because he knows you're going to do the right thing about it, he going to give you what you need, not what you want, but what you need. Amen, somebody. Amen. I need $1,000. For what? Because I need a vacation. Mm -hmm. Jesus? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, get a call on the phone. This is how God works. You know, we just found out you uh, had some old, your tax. You, you didn't file it right. You get another thousand dollars. How many of y'all will start shouting? Some of y'all will say, they owed it to me. They should have gave it to me. You better, you better sit down at that table and thank God for yes, that blessing. Always. Yeah. Always. Hey, yes. <laughs> well, anyway, I got to cut this because I didn't got one. Jesus. Deaconess Little, how you doing tonight? It's good, Pastor. It's huh? good. All right. I'm glad y'all enjoying it. We got we got clothes because I, I don't want to hold too long. Amen. I will say this to y'all. Where there's fear, there's no faith. When there's no faith, where there's faith, there's no fear. When there is no fear, there is no rage in the heart. When there's no rage in the heart, you will act toward the purpose of your life without even knowing intellectually. What does that say? You won't be suppressed in your spirit because you won't have such confidence in God that he's going to do it. You don't walk around here, quote mouth and pity mouth and afraid to ask God for stuff because you're doing what you're supposed to. Huh? Man, man. You can be like somebody 
They've been asking God for 13 years oh, for a bill. <laughs> and then when they get it, they don't even... I don't even drive. They got a desire for it. I don't even drive. Because you act. Yeah. And you live right. I'm going to give it to you. You know, and this is what I'm talking Y'all have to understand what the power of faith is. The power of faith comes from your love and knowing of what the word of God tells you you are. If you don't have no faith, you can't please God. If you don't please God, you ain't going to get nothing from God. Amen, somebody. Because you hard hit. How many of y'all give y'all hard hit kids stuff? Nope. <laughs> you ain't going to give them up. Nope. Because you're trying to teach them a lesson. Right. Now that one that do everything you tell them. Oh, baby, come on. All right, all right. I only had $2, but I'm going to give you one. That's what love. You know a child is doing the right thing. That's right. You're going to take care of that child. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's favoritism. No, that obedience. Obedience is give you favor with God. You disobedient, you're going to not have favor with God. Period. Check it in there. Period. Check it in there. Go to Deuteronomy 28. If you do these things, right. is that what it said? You will get these things. Right. All the blessings. If you don't, this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You're going to be cursed with a curse. Mm -hmm. Y'all better hear what I'm telling y'all. I'm trying to help somebody tonight learn how to get blessings. And ain't none of us going to turn away blessings. How many of y'all going to turn away blessings? No, sir. I ain't. I ain't. <laughs> how many won't bless? Now yeah. see y'all, look at y'all. Some of y'all got mad. I don't care. How many of you like blessings? <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. Jesus, if they get this, they won't be able to understand the imaginable things you can do. Is there anything too hard? Too hard? Lord? For the Lord? Nothing. You start thinking that when you know it's love. Because then you understand it's power. Mm -hmm. Deep, we close it. Ain't finished. I'm going to jump over three pages so I can get deep what he needs. All right, Deep. You ready? Yeah, ready. The steps. Ready. I'm going to have to send this out because I'm not going to get through all that. How many of y'all got a uh, text message on the Ecclesia Temple Church? Yeah. Huh? Y'all want this because I'm not going to get through. Yeah. Only got yes. Nine yes. minutes. Send I'm going to send it out. All right? Sorry. But I'm going to start. These are the steps on how to turn fear into faith. Number one, be prepared. Tell your neighbor, 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 be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. This is the Lord's own instruction. If ye are prepared, ye shall fear not. That's in the scripture. Mm -hmm. See, if you're prepared, nothing catches you off guard. That's right. Because if somebody say in the business world, you got all your bases covered. Mm -hmm. So why do you fear? Because you're prepared. Mm -hmm. Now, how do I prepare? Reading, studying, fasting. That's right. Huh? Praying. Meditating on his word. Mm -hmm. Those are things that help you prepare so that you can eliminate fear and turn it into faith. Preparation will dispel that hidden indigenous enemy who lurks within the limits of our capacity destroying our initiatives and strangle our effectiveness. Who is that? Satan. Who is that? Satan. John 10 and 10, right? Yes. Satan comes to what? Kill. Kill. And do what? And destroy. But I come, come to the end of life and have it more abundant. Don't let Satan unprepare you by putting these things in your mind. What is he doing? He's taking your Mind off of the confidence you have in God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, cast not away. Your confidence comes what? It has great recompense of Thank you. It has great recompense of reward. How many want a reward? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I want a reward. He said, I come in my rewards. I'm with, with me. Huh? Mm -hmm. To give to those that love my y'all. Mm -hmm. They got this kind of teaching nowhere in the city. <laughs> Come on, somebody. My rewards are what? With, 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 me. with me. How many want that reward? Amen. One I particularly want. 
A crown of life. life. Ain't that what Paul got? Mm -hmm. A crown of righteousness. Righteous. Righteous. Now, for me and Lady Sorrell, I told you, we're going to get another crown. Crown of glory. For those that have been in the pastoral positions. Oh, man, it takes a lot to do what we do. And God recognizes that. Amen. He does. He recognizes that. But anyway, preparation. The enemy of whom we speak of is fear. You might as well put Satan's name right next to fear. Because that's who generates it. He gets power and manipulation through fear. That's how he controls people, through fear. Why do you think they uh, build all these atomic bombs sitting in silos all over the world? Fear. Huh? Why do you think everybody got to carry a gun now? Fear. Amen. It's all because of fear. Satan manipulates society with fear. This is why the Bible addresses it more than faith. Because this is what you have to deal with on a constant basis. Getting control over your fear. Yes, sir. Amen, somebody. Amen. A fear to wholeheartedly accept our calling. Some of y'all won't uh, do what God called you to do because you're afraid. Well, I, I, I can't do it in church. Uh, I can't you know. Well, if you come to this church, we try to get rid of that. Don't let me hear you sing it. Don't let me know you can play. Especially don't let me know you can type. We put you to work. Amen. Amen. Because I don't want you to have no fear. Right. I remember thinking this. Gee, I can't do that, Pastor. <laughs> now Deacon is up here leading testicles. Take the mic. I remember when she couldn't get two words out of here. Okay. She let the fear go. Come on, somebody. Amen. She got up here in the confidence of the Holy Ghost. I can do all oh, things. Talk to me and hit somebody. Strengthens me. Through Christ. Strength. She ain't afraid no more. Because she can do all things. Yeah. I might stumble and make a few mistakes, but I'm still doing all things. Yes, yes, I'm, all so I'm still doing. Say that. Amen. Amen. We don't believe in letting gifts go to waste here. Not at all. All right, Stuart Mike? Yes, Take the Ecclesia coming up October. First. First. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. We got some of the best cooks in the city. Yeah. Right here in this church. Amen. You want some good food, you better get here October 1st. That's what you said, well, I'm just trying to know somebody. <laughs> Preparation. Preparation includes the following elements. Watch this. Jeremiah. Having a knowledge of the gospel. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all missed it. I'm giving this to you now. Y'all, some of y'all ladies, y'all wait for me to give it to you. But it's okay. That's why I study so you can have the easiest study. <laughs> That's why I do it. You hear me? So that you have some easy calling. Having the knowledge of the gospel. Having a strong testimony. Now what is that? Your witness? Huh? See, when you're living right, you don't have to come to church doing this. I know that's right. Because you don't know who's going to walk through the door. Uh -huh. And make you guilty of something you didn't need. Uh -oh. See, when you're living right, you ain't got to worry about a uh, hoochie mama coming in here and talking about, that's my boyfriend. No, that's right. <laughs> uh, uh, so you don't come to church again. Uh, I come in here, I ain't worried about no hoochie mama coming in. Because I ain't messing with no hoochie mama when I'm out here. No, that's right. <laughs> you ain't helping me my witness. You'd be surprised how many folks sitting in the church. Watching the door. <laughs> You're right. I hope she don't come. He's right. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I right. hope she don't come. Uh -oh. I hope he don't come. Uh -oh. My husband over there. Y'all uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. ain't talking to me. Uh -oh. That's right, Pastor. Yeah. You've been at the job doing stuff you ain't supposed to be doing, uh -oh. and here they come. Uh -oh. I didn't know you was married. Right. You right. told me. Right. Uh oh. Church don't laugh. Fear. 
That's why you're nervous. That's what you're I'll be shaking and stuff. What are you shaking for? <laughs> Looking over at the door. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> How are you shaking? <laughs> you're in the house of God. There's peace in the house of God. You're going to be shaking. Well, we'll see after a while. Won't we? The Bible says, he'll put your business in the He'll rooftop, be, rooftop, on a, rooftop, rooftop. Right. Y'all know it. Uh -oh. After a while, God say, "Here comes the Uchi Mama." I'm all over the place. <laughs> you <laughs> walk like that. Covers too short. Covers too short. Y'all ain't helping me in here. That's why you gotta live right in the church and out the church. Amen. So you don't have to be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Lace around, Sarah. Lace Let me get this out real quick. Come here, Lace oh, oh. I'll lay, I'll lay my phone down. Walk away. Right. Lace Sorrell's walk up, too. Uh -huh. Come get it, Lace Sorrell. Oh, okay. Oh, no, don't touch it. Don't touch my phone. Right, 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 right. That's what I'm right. This is what I'm saying. Right. When you ain't living right outside the church, you don't want your wife touching your phone. Right. Uh-oh. That's right. Getting hot in here now. Uh-oh. Oh, she might stroll. Is he Uchi Mama? <laughs> <laughs> or Sugar Daddy? Uh oh. Anybody talk to me again? Or Sad Chick? Amen. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Talking this is why your testimony got to be right. That good. takes away fear. Yeah. Away fear. Talking good, Pastor. Loving all our fellow yeah, right. men. The Bible, this is the commandment. You got to love people. Amen. Like God loved you. Yes, sir. See, 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 if you ain't loving folks right, you're running them down. Mm -mm. You was on the phone, then you're in church looking nervous if they knew about what you said about them. Mm -mm. This is, this is fear. Still, mm -hmm. somebody gonna walk up and say, mm, she was, they were talking about y'all like a dirty dog. Mm -mm. <laughs> so now you're scared, because the pastor gonna find out you've been running them down. Oh, God. Golly, God. I ain't gonna preach on you. I'm gonna let God get you. Y'all ain't helping me. God fight my battles. I have no fear. Run me down if you want to. God gonna fight my battles. Amen. Studying the scripture with love and comprehension. Are y'all getting these? This is preparation. I'm gonna send it to you. But now I don't think I am because I want y'all to come back next week. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm going to see. Oh, Amen. I'm going to see. Change your it's 8 30 and I got to stop. But I ain't finished. This is a lot of fun. Anybody enjoy the class tonight? Just give it a lot of So uh, next week we'll pick it up. Amen. And try to finish. I'm not, I'm not going to do y'all like that. I'm going to. Go ahead and send it out because I might not teach you on this next week. I'm gonna go and send out these things for uh, uh, to change faith to fear. Amen. That's good. I'm gonna send it out. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand. Oh, yeah. Amen. I love the Lord. Any of you love the Lord? Amen. 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 So let us stand and bring forth our offering. Amen. You gotta pray, you gotta pray, you gotta pray, Pastor. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray, Pastor. Dear gracious Father, we thank you again for the word of God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we honor you, Lord, for how you are touching our minds through the word of God. Yes. Lord, showing us the purpose of your love, Lord, that we may not have wrath or doubt. It. Lord, for you said a double minded person will receive nothing of the Lord. So, Lord, strengthen us, Lord, that we not be double minded in our love for you. And, Lord, that we will stand on the promises that you are a rock. You are our deliverer. You are our salvation. Lord, this we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.